Pluto, a remote and mysterious world, was once a singular and dependable planet in our solar system. However, ongoing discussions among leading astrophysicists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, have pushed Pluto back into the spotlight with amazing discoveries. These researchers have suggested that Pluto's orbit may ultimately intersect with Neptune's, an idea that raises questions about how such a collision could happen and what the consequences of such a massive event could be. Could this lead to a fascinating and strange phenomenon, or is there more to this potential planetary crash? Join us as we delve into the possible outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Pluto, once considered a planet in its own right, is now classified as a dwarf planet due to its unusual orbit. Despite its reclassification, Pluto remains a subject of interest and research within the scientific community. Recent investigations by leading astronomers indicate that Pluto's orbit is dangerously close to Neptune's, raising concerns among astrophysicists like Tyson and Kaku about the possibility of a catastrophic collision between the two. But how could such a crash happen? Unlike other planets in our solar system, Pluto follows an unpredictable path around the Sun, taking a staggering 248 years to complete one full orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has not yet completed a single revolution around the Sun. However, the intrigue surrounding Pluto doesn't end there. Its orbit is characterized by a highly elliptical shape, unlike the nearly circular orbits of the larger planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more puzzling is its tilt. Pluto's orbit is inclined at an angle of 17 degrees to the plane of the solar system, adding complexity to its orbital dynamics. This tilt, combined with its irregular shape, makes Pluto's orbit significantly more chaotic compared to the other planets. One of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto's orbit is its interaction with Neptune's. For approximately 20 years of each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, contrary to what one might expect based on their positions in the solar system. This raises the obvious question, why hasn't Pluto crashed into Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational influences of other planets in the solar system. When Pluto's orbit was first studied after its discovery, astronomers struggled to understand its unusual trajectory. Unlike the orbits of other planets, which lie close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stands out due to its steep inclination and eccentric shape. The mystery surrounding Pluto's orbit deepened when astronomers discovered that its path does, in fact, cross Neptune's orbit. This apparent paradox is resolved by the complex gravitational dynamics of the solar system, specifically, through a phenomenon known as the three-body problem. The three-body problem in astronomy refers to the challenge of predicting the motion of three objects, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, that influence each other through gravitational forces. The interactions between these bodies create a dynamic system that is difficult to predict, as each body continuously affects the others in an ever-changing manner. For Pluto, the three-body problem explains why its orbit remains stable despite crossing Neptune's path. One key concept that keeps Pluto's orbit stable is libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term refers to the phenomenon where, whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, the two planets are always at least 90 degrees apart. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing collisions. Another important factor is vertical libration, which refers to the up-and-down movement of a celestial body within its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes near Neptune or any other large planet, it remains positioned well above or below their orbital planes, adding yet another layer of protection against potential collisions. A third concept that stabilizes Pluto's orbit is VZK wobbling, named after the three scientists, Vashkov, Zhukov, and Klimov, who studied how celestial bodies move in space. This phenomenon describes how Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun influence each other through gravity, causing slight variations in their positions over time. In Pluto's case, VZK wobbling explains why its orbit, despite appearing erratic, remains stable over long periods, possibly even billions of years. Although Pluto's orbit is chaotic by nature, these gravitational interactions with other planets help maintain its trajectory within the broader context of the solar system. These forces play a crucial role in preventing planets and dwarf planets from colliding with one another. Without these stabilizing factors, the solar system would be a much more chaotic place, with planets and other celestial bodies potentially colliding or being ejected from their orbits, leading to a cascade of impacts. For Pluto, this is especially important given the ongoing discussions about a potential collision with Neptune. Understanding Pluto's orbit provides valuable insight into the dynamic nature of the solar system. 
It serves as a reminder that even seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of balance through the intricate dance of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. The study of Pluto's orbit also highlights the need for continuous research and observation to better understand the forces shaping our solar system. The case of Pluto underscores the importance of studying the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies and the role that gravitational interactions play in their movements. The concept of orbital resonance, which refers to the delicate balance of gravitational forces that govern the orbits of celestial bodies, is clearly demonstrated by Pluto. Even small changes in its position or velocity can drastically alter its long-term trajectory. In the late 1980s, virtual simulations provided valuable insights into Pluto's orbit. These simulations showed that despite the stabilizing effects of phenomena like libration, Pluto's orbit can still be highly unpredictable. A tiny deviation in its initial conditions, such as its position or speed, could result in dramatic differences in its path over millions of years. Despite this inherent unpredictability, these models also revealed that Pluto's orbit remains generally stable over billions of years, suggesting that its journey around the Sun follows a fundamental order, even if it appears chaotic. However, these simulations also highlighted the challenges of making precise long-term predictions. The three-body problem, combined with the sensitivity of the system to initial conditions, means that predicting Pluto's future trajectory is a complex and uncertain task. Although simulations are useful tools for understanding and forecasting the behavior of celestial bodies, they are limited by the accuracy of initial data and the complexity of the forces at play. These challenges emphasize the fact that planetary orbits, especially Pluto's, tend to be turbulent and difficult to predict. The case of Pluto's orbit serves as a reminder of the ever-changing and dynamic nature of the universe. While we have made significant strides in understanding space, Pluto's case highlights how much we still need to learn about. The gravitational influences of the giant planets, such as Jupiter, Neptune, and Saturn, which play a crucial role in shaping Pluto's orbit. This brings us to the question, why are prominent astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson raising concerns about a potential impact between Pluto and Neptune, despite all the complex forces working to prevent such an event? Tyson, a well-known astrophysicist who played a key role in Pluto's reclassification from a planet to a dwarf planet, offers an insightful perspective on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics. He argues that while Pluto's orbit is stable for now, it may undergo significant changes in the future. This possibility underscores how much more we still need to discover about the forces governing our solar system. Tyson's views on Pluto's reclassification and its current status as a dwarf planet are based on our ever-expanding understanding of the solar system. He believes that this reclassification is not a demotion but rather a necessary adjustment to our increasing knowledge of the diverse bodies orbiting our sun. His approach to celestial mechanics is one of continuous learning and adaptation. Tyson acknowledges the complexities of Pluto's orbit and its interactions with Neptune while recognizing the inherent unpredictability of space. He suggests that, while Pluto's orbit is currently stable, it could undergo dramatic changes in the future, serving as a reminder of the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of our understanding of the universe. Tyson's perspective highlights the fundamental uncertainty in space exploration and celestial mechanics, emphasizing the need for continuous study and adaptation in light of new discoveries. He points out that although Pluto's orbit has been relatively stable for billions of years, there is always the possibility of unforeseen changes. The complexity of Pluto's relationship with Neptune is an excellent example of how even well-understood orbital dynamics can be subject to future revisions as our knowledge grows. Furthermore, Tyson's observations on Pluto's orbital resonance with Neptune, where Pluto completes two orbits for every three of Neptunes, demonstrate how delicate and finely tuned the mechanics of the solar system are. This resonance helps maintain Pluto's stability by preventing it from coming too close to Neptune, a crucial factor in the continued stability of both. This delicate balance in Pluto's orbital resonance with Neptune is a remarkable example of the intricate gravitational choreography that governs celestial mechanics. Despite appearing chaotic, Pluto's long-term stability is maintained by these finely tuned gravitational interactions. However, as Tyson and other astrophysicists suggest, the solar system is not a static place. Over vast timescales, even small gravitational influences, such as the cumulative effects of Jupiter's and Saturn's gravity, could slightly alter Pluto's orbit. While these changes are minuscule on human timescales, over millions or billions of years, they could have significant consequences. The Long-Term Fate of Pluto's Orbit
One of the biggest questions in planetary dynamics is how stable Pluto's orbit truly is in the long term. While current simulations suggest that Pluto and Neptune will not collide under present conditions, the long-term gravitational evolution of the solar system remains uncertain. Some models indicate that minor perturbations from giant planets could gradually shift Pluto's orbit, possibly pushing it into a new orbital resonance or even ejecting it from the solar system entirely. Another possibility, though extremely unlikely, is that a future event, such as an interaction with an undiscovered massive object in the outer solar system, could disrupt Pluto's orbit. Some scientists speculate about the existence of Planet 9, a hypothetical large planet in the Kuiper Belt or beyond, which could exert additional gravitational influences on Pluto and other transneptunian objects. If such a body exists, its gravitational effects could slowly alter the stability of Pluto's orbit in ways we cannot yet predict. Could Pluto ever become a planet again? The debate over Pluto's planetary status is ongoing. While Pluto is currently classified as a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union, IAU, some scientists argue that this classification should be reconsidered. In recent years, new discoveries about Pluto, such as its complex atmosphere, possible subsurface ocean, and dynamic geology, have reignited discussions about whether Pluto should be reclassified as a full-fledged planet. Tyson himself has maintained that the reclassification of Pluto was not meant to diminish its importance but to refine our definition of what constitutes a planet. The IAU's 2006 definition states that a planet must 1. Orbit the Sun 2. Be massive enough for its gravity to make it nearly round 3. Have cleared its orbital path of other debris Pluto fails the third criterion because its orbit overlaps with other Kuiper Belt objects. However, some planetary scientists argue that this criterion is flawed, as even Earth shares its orbit with asteroids. If the definition were to be revised in the future, Pluto could once again be considered a planet. The Broader Implications for Planetary Science Pluto's case is more than just a classification debate. It highlights how much we are still learning about planetary formation and evolution. The study of Pluto and its interactions with Neptune offers insights into how celestial bodies maintain stability in dynamic environments. Beyond Pluto, other dwarf planets and transneptunian objects, such as Eris, Haumea, and Makemake, follow similarly complex orbits. Understanding these objects can provide clues about the history and future of our solar system. Additionally, the gravitational principles governing Pluto's orbit are not unique to our solar system. Exoplanetary systems around distant stars may have planets with similarly chaotic or resonant orbits. Studying Pluto's behavior can help astronomers predict the dynamics of these distant worlds. Final thoughts, what the future holds for Pluto. For now, Pluto remains a fascinating and enigmatic world. Its orbit, while appearing chaotic, is stabilized by intricate gravitational forces. While the possibility of a collision with Neptune is highly unlikely under current conditions, the long-term evolution of Pluto's orbit remains a subject of scientific inquiry. As we continue to refine our understanding of planetary mechanics, Pluto serves as a reminder that the universe is in constant motion, shaped by invisible forces acting over immense timescales. Whether or not Pluto is ever reclassified as a planet, it remains an essential piece of the puzzle in understanding the ever-evolving nature of our solar system.